Yes. 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 Stuff out. But when I drink the juice, it really feels really full. Yep, it is. And in fact, one of the things that's unique about, about coconuts is in World War II, when we had some people who were bleeding because they had a lot of holes in them from bullets and things, uh, they were running out of blood very quickly. And somebody found out that if you hooked up an IV to a coconut, the, the juice inside here is sterile. It has a very similar consistency to plasma, and many, many lives were saved using coconut IVs. Oh, wow. So this is not a liquid, this is a food. Wow. I know, it's wow. cool, huh? I know. And then, um, the Mayans came up with a powder called coca. They called it the food of the gods. And it's actually huge antioxidant properties. So this, I'm just going to put a couple of uh, tablespoons in there. Now this is unsweetened raw coca powder. So, Mother's Market. <laughs> yeah, well, I live right around the corner. Okay, then, so now we've got the electrolytes, and then here we've got a couple of frozen bananas. Now I froze these last night. Now the frozen bananas loaded with potassium. And here, blueberries. Now blueberries are guaranteed to lower cholesterol. However, the side effect isn't liver damage, the side effect is health. Whoops, sorry. Okay, now an apple is loaded with soluble fibers and pectins. Now inside of the apple, there's also a small amount of cyanide. Now some people will say, for goodness sake, don't eat the seeds. In order to get toxicity from the seeds, you'd need to eat about a case of seeds. Do you know how many apples it would take to fill up a case of seeds? <laughs> yeah, millions. Okay, so there's no way it can, it can actually harm you. Now here, papaya. So now we've got the soluble fibers, the antioxidant. Now the papaya is kind of cool. Oh, do you have the, can I borrow the spoon? Yeah. Inside, now, now this again, it goes on the into, whole intelligent design thing. The seeds have anti-parasitic properties. Now where do papayas grow? Tropical, tropical areas. Are there a lot of parasites in tropical areas? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that makes so much sense. It's almost like there's an intelligent design. <laughs> I know, it, you know, when you hear it over and over, if you ever get a chance to watch Survivor Man or any of those other shows, you're going to see that if there's a poisonous plant or animal, the antidote is pretty much going to be close by. Now this, I'm only going to use part of the seeds, uh, only because uh, this is generally uh, a beginning juice. If I was making this at home, I'd use the whole thing. Because it does tend to get a little bit gritty, but it's really good for you. Okay, now here. Now if you want it a little sweeter, you can toss in a couple of tablespoons of aguave syrup, but it's just, it's just gosh darn good. And this is like a healthy, delicious, nutritious dessert. Yes. It, it has a little effect, like the, it has a low glycemic index. There's a lot of other stuff you can use, like stevia, if you've got any diabetic properties. But diabetes is so easy to reverse. You know, just, just there's, there's so many different methods to reverse diabetes. Go 90 days raw, reverse diabetes, and then start doing healthy sugars. So, I, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's crazy to talk like this, but in 50 years, people are going to say, you actually took metformin for type 2 diabetes? And then you took insulin for type 2? How backwards were these people? Remember, in my lifetime, they recommended camel cigarettes because they're good for digestion. I know this because my son pulls up the ads on YouTube. You can be a little bit more generous. We're going to make one more thing. Okay. Don't be skimpy. 
<laughs> go go about halfway. I want everybody to get some. Go about halfway. They will. They will. We're gonna make one more. We're gonna make one more. Just yeah, because that's really good. <laughs> okay. So now. And, and I hate to drive this home, but, but your blood is always changing. It's changing day by day. Um, last week, I went and I got a physical, and, and only because I had to get life insurance. And they said, hey, doc, you know, you're 50 years old. You don't take any drugs, and you don't see a medical doctor. We're really concerned. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, I only utilize medical care for emergencies. So they sent a doctor over here, and, and I told them, I said, well, you know, um, what, what do you want my blood pressure to be? You know, around 120 over 80, would that work for you? They said, yeah. I said, well, you know, I had a pint of water when I woke up. I also had a fruit smoothie and a cup of coffee, you know, and so my blood pressure is going to be pretty high. So I sat down, did a little deep breathing, and I said, okay, take it now. It was 120 over 81. Okay, no. That, I'm messing with them. If you want it higher, don't breathe for a little bit. Hold your breath. It'll be higher. Uh, if you want it lower, hyperventilate. It'll be lower. It's such a ridiculous gauge. Let's elevate the intellect here. Now this, anything you take in your mouth is going to get in your stomach. Antacids, pretty benign drug, right? The red blood cells are loaded with hemoglobin. Antacids, iron and calcium are absorbed right here in the duodenum. This right here in the duodenum actually causes, that's where calcium and iron are absorbed. If you take an antacid, what does that do to iron absorption? It drops it. That means there's not enough blood inside of the hemoglobin. Now this, again, soluble fibers loaded. This is a daily fruit intake. Does that taste okay? A little, little sweeter with the agave? Yeah, yeah, because I did. I put a lot of little chocolate in there. Now here, so again, when you start looking at this, what are, you, what are you putting in your body? If you take a cholesterol drug or a heartburn drug or arthritis drug, this all gets in the stomach. It gets in the stomach into the intestine. So it's a radical different view. Cholesterol drugs are not specific for the liver. Heartburn drugs are not specific for the stomach. This isn't real specific for those certain areas. Does that, does that make sense? and hypercholesterolemia. Okay, this is an invented disease. It's a theory that cholesterol clogs arteries, and it doesn't. Cholesterol doesn't clog arteries. Arteries are only um, sealed up from long-term arterial damage. And when we talk in a couple of weeks on cholesterol, you're going to learn more in detail, but know that cholesterol is there as a protective mechanism. So anything that you put in here goes into this duodenum and you can see how the pancreas can be negatively affected by antibiotics. You can see how the spleen is right here, how the liver is right there. So this area here is intimately involved in how blood's produced. Does, does that make sense? Aspirin, um, and this is uh, American Association for Cancer Research, increases pancreatic cancer in women. Do we know the mechanism behind it? No, but it, does it make sense that if you take an aspirin, it goes into the duodenum, there's the pancreas, that it could negatively affect it? Every four months, if you're taking a cholesterol drug, they got to check the liver for damage. Does it make sense that anything you take into that intestinal tract, it's going to cause some type of damage? Yes or yes? yes. Yeah. Now here, um, this. I mean, obviously, I don't think this kid's ever seen a coconut. Luckily, a lot of school systems are out there now, and they're starting to look at real food to see if you can get people to, to learn to take real food instead of synthetics. And it's, it really is um, super easy to teach kids how to eat correctly. I know, this is just regular, honest-to-goodness food. Now, no soy milk, no rice milk. Rice milk raises blood sugar. Soy milk, any type of processed soy, it raises estrogen levels, so you want to really, really avoid processed soy. Soy in edamame form or tofu is okay. This stuff is dangerous. Okay, this is like never in. And that's why we're starting to see atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries in kids now. And that's just ridiculous. So adding tofu to that. Yuck. No, I, I mean, that would be healthy. 